to the first issue of the magazine What's Up in Paris for 2015. It is a monthly publication dedicated to everything you should experience, see, hear and do in Paris. So stay with us and thanks to What's Up in Paris, discover a selection of unmissable events in January 2015. Experiencing butterflies in your stomach at the same time as admiring the view of Champs-Élysées from a height of over 65 metres is indeed possible. To do this, go to the Palais de la Concorde and follow the signs to the Grande Rue Ferris Wheel, which for what 21 years now has been operating from the bottom of the finest avenue in the world. It's 42 gondolas carrying 300,000 passengers per year. If you want to try out this unique experience, we advise you to wrap up well. It gets cold up there. To get there, Place de la Concorde, every day from 10 a.m. to midnight, except for Friday and Saturday when it operates until 1 a.m. It is 10 euros for adults and five for children under 10. For Epiphany, you can celebrate the three wise men in style by having a pastry. Paris pastry chefs surpass themselves and each of them have their own creations for this festive event. So you will have no shortage of choices from Christophe Milak, who goes for superheroes with his king pie, through to Pierre Herm, who came up with a lemon flavoured pastry called Infinite Citron, and Christophe Roussel, who among other things offers a square raspberry pastry called the Framboise Royale. Or you could just go to the corner pastry shop where you will find traditional frangipani flavoured pastries with the lucky charm that goes into each. So get together on the 7th of January for a whole host of festive pastries. Seeing a fir tree forest beneath the Eiffel Tower will remain possible until the 18th of January. A giant snowball has therefore been placed at the foot of Paris's Iron Lady. You can see 120 spruces there trapped inside an enormous bauble. And the snow is not artificial, it is simply the play of various cleverly positioned lights. At the Modern Arts Museum, you can go and see a retrospective on Sonia de Lune. On display are 400 of her works, as well as three installations that reconstruct environments. Sonia de Lune, an artist of Ukrainian origin, who was a jack of all trades painting on all sorts of supports. This monograph, which followed the development of the artist from the dawn of the 20th century through to the 1970s, highlights the importance of her activity in applied arts, her specific place within the various European avant-gardes as well as her pioneering major role in abstract art. For more information about this topic check out mam.paris.fr on 8th of January, lovers of Russian dance and music, gypsy tunes and gypsy jazz will not want to miss the big family of the Romanese circus, who will welcome them under the big top for a concert celebrating the 2015 Russian New Year. On the bill are Natasha and Nuit de Ponce, with a special appearance by Dan Gabrien from the group Bratch and Maxime's most famous broche offered in the interval along with a shot of vodka when you arrive. To book, phone 01552680082. On the 26th of January, fans of the legendary British group Queen will be rushing off to the Zenith to hear We Are The Champions, We Will Rock You, Under Pressure, A Kind Of Magic and I Want To Break Free along with many others once again. This time, it won't be with the much missed Freddie Mercury who will be singing, but Adam Lambert, who has accompanied the group on several occasions since 2012. He was discovered during the eighth season of the show American Idol, and his first studio album, For Your Entertainment, was released in 2009. It sold 198,000 copies during the first week of its release. To get tickets, if there are still any left, check out www.lezenith.com forward stroke Paris. Only a few days remain if you want to go ice skating under the cupola of the Grand Palais as France's largest skating rink is going to close its doors on the 4th. But there is no need to rush as the one on the first floor of the Eiffel Tower will be operating until 15th of February 2015 from 10.30am to 10.30pm. 
There you can skate at a height of over 57 metres above ground level and look over the pole of Paris thanks to the panoramic view. You can get ice skates there, all you have to pay is the entrance fee. A bar located on the edge of the skating rink offers double access both for spectators as well as the ice skaters. For further information about this, check out the following website www.toureiffel.paris Happy New Year and a happy January to everyone. See you in February.